this is Demi and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to talk about growing up with strict parents. So I know you guys know about this already and I know this is not new anymore. But I found out this article in Cosmo.ph wherein they listed 13 items of what most teenagers who have strict parents went through during their teenage lives. Yes. So I grew up with a strict parent. A bit strict but not so strict. But still strict. So out of the 13 listed there, I was able to relate with 8 items. So the first one will be everything has to be planned. When I was in high school, all through college, my friends are going to ask me to go to the mall or hang out in an amusement park or just go for a swim. It has to be one month before the date of departure. I <laughs> mean, it has to be that long because that would be like the deciding period of my parents if they're going to let me go or not. If my friends are going to like ask me, hey, are you free tonight? Can we go out like later? I'm going to say no. It's not that I don't want to go. It's just I have to say no because my parents are not going to let me go. And as I mentioned earlier, I have to ask one month before that event. And within that month, you have to ask them weekly. Like, you have to remind them that you're going to that event because if you if you don't, they're going to forget it. And if they forget it, they're going to say that you didn't ask permission at all. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's hard. But, well, it's my parents' rule, so I can't argue with that. The second one is, I had a curfew. I mean, I think you guys had a curfew too, but when I was in high school, I had to be at home like... 6 p.m. and if I haven't been home at that time I'm gonna get so many missed calls so many messages and they feel like I'm dead or something but I'm not I'm okay but yeah they're being paranoid I was always the baby in the group like I had to be the first one to go home because yeah my parents are gonna kill me if I don't go home at that time when I was in college um, my curfew got extended for two hours so. <laughs> so back in high school I have to be home at 6 and in college I had to be home by 8 but that's only true if I don't have night classes so when I started having night classes I was really glad because I can go home that late uh -huh. very shallow of me well anyway that was my point there I had to be the first one to go among the group because if I don't, my parents would ground me like forever. So. The third one would be having the death and life situation conversation. So what do I mean? It's like this. traffic or my plans have been delayed or something like that they feel like they're going to have a heart attack and that's kind of exaggerated I don't know maybe it's a parent thing they get worried and paranoid at the same time so number four would be having a secret boyfriend I think you guys have that too I mean I think that's normal you know I had a secret boyfriend when I was in high school because my parents wouldn't let me have one. I could hang out with boys, but I'm off limits when it comes to having a boyfriend. And I guess that's just natural for parents to worry like that. And I think it's just normal for high schoolers or for even college girls or guys to have a secret boyfriend because they just don't want to tell their parents. So I think I'm not the only one who experienced this, right? Number five would be sneaking around a lot. So since my parents don't want me to go hang out with my friends sometimes, what I do is to make up a little bit of lie. Sometimes I say that I'm going to go home late because I have projects to do and 
have to do this project on a specific friend's house because all the materials that we needed are in their house. So I think you guys experienced that, done that before? And it's, is it just me? I don't know. But yeah, I sneaked around a lot and had to lie sometimes just to go out with my friends. Next is I was never allowed to sleep at any of my friends' house. Even if my friend's house is not that far away from where I live, they never agreed to let me sleep in my friend's house. Well, that changed when I was in college because I had to do my thesis paper in my friend's house. And they had no choice because I had to finish that paper and I had to graduate. So, I think my first sleepover was when I was in college. Sad, but true. Next is, I throw a major b fit every once in a while. Yeah, because whenever my parents won't let me go with my friends, and I know that happened a lot, and I know it was going to happen, I still get angry with them. Because sometimes I just really want to go hang out with my friends and they won't let me, so that just sucks, right? It's not like I'm going to drink, or I'm going to do drugs, I'm just going to hang out with them. Although sometimes I drink with them, but anyways. I'm not gonna do anything stupid or something that I would regret or they might regret but again uh, their parents you know they worry a lot so I think that's just I don't know normal I guess so last one on the list is I still turn out pretty okay so I mean growing up with strict parents didn't mean I hadn't had fun with my teenage life I mean I, my friends made a way to hang out with me even if I had strict parents. So I had fun when I was a teenager. I mean, yeah, I had strict parents and we had disagreements and arguments. We still do have now though. And it didn't mean I didn't enjoy my life when I was a teenager. I'm actually thankful that my parents were strict with me when I was a teenager because if they hadn't, I wouldn't be this right now. I mean, they were strict but... You know, I came to realize that they just did it because they wanted me to grow up okay. They were just guiding me to the right path and maybe they wanted to show me other things, you know? And maybe they just loved me too much to just let me go like that, you know? I haven't succeeded in life enough yet. So I think what my parents did when I was still a teenager help me to be a good person, you know? I'm not saying that those who doesn't have strict parents didn't grow up to be nice, but I mean, you know, I'm okay with everything. Like, their consistency in being strict made me tired of being mad at them. Like, I just wanted to accept everything they wanted me to do. And I think the arguments we had before were healthy because with those arguments, we've come to know each other well. They got to know what I was thinking and I got to know what theirs. So maybe everything went great. Actually, it's not just okay, it's all great. So if you guys want to know if I had a chance to change how my parents raised me before, I'm not changing it, you know? Because if I changed it, I wouldn't be me today. So parents being strict, maybe it's just another way of them showing that they love you, you know? So for all you teenagers out there who have strict parents, that's okay, it's going to get better soon. Just have to go through it and endure it because you're going to miss it. So how many of you guys have strict parents? Maybe you can comment down below. Maybe you experience what I had and we can, you know, talk about it later in the comments. I'm also going to put the link of that article down below so you guys could read it too. And I don't actually know how to end this video so I think I'm just going to say bye and see you later.